I've been in love with horses since I was 12 years old. I had my own horse as a kid. Then I found out about horse slaughter. I had this big property with only three or four horses on it, and I was thinking, I better open this up and bring some rescues in so the horses stop going to slaughter. We started in 2010. We're a 501c3 nonprofit charity. Everything's very transparent here. Um, all donations are tax deductible. Uh, we are really needed. We get many calls every single day, emails, messages. There are people who get ill, they get divorced, they lose their property, it's foreclosed, and they don't know what to do with their horses. If you let your horse just go to auction, there's a chance it's going to go into a kill pen and it'll be taken up to Canada or down to Mexico and slaughtered for meat. Sometimes we go to auctions. I feel like horses that are lame or blind shouldn't be in auctions. So we go up, we give cash to the kill buyer, which is really sad because it puts money in their pocket, but that horse is safe. So right now it's $1.75 a pound for horse meat. So if you have a horse like that that's 1,100 pounds, that's some good money. We do a body score. The vet is always here when they arrive. Body scores from one to 10, one is starving to death. Zero means they're not gonna make it. We've taken in horses at a one or 1 1.5 a lot. We get people to help us with the money for the kill buyer, the money for the transportation, but then you have a mystery on your hands. If they came through an auction, are they broke? Are they safe? A Deborah's horse, Omega, was actually a killer when she came. She would hurt you, but it was her only way of protecting herself. And now she's just a big love. She's a sweetheart, but it took a long time to get her trust back. I came to a fundraiser about four years ago. I met Omega, I fell in love, and I fell in love with the horses and her, so I decided to donate my time. Horses come in very bad shape, 500, 600 pounds underweight. She was 800 pounds underweight. She has bad arthritis, never rideable. She's put on the weight, she's beautiful. She couldn't be touched when she came. And there's many horses like that here that we've been able to rehabilitate and rehome, and we follow where they go. So there's mucking involved, there's feeding schedules, there's simple vet care, cleaning the hooves, treating wounds, a lot of grooming involved every day. We love our volunteers. I do this because this is my favorite thing in the world. I have loved horses all my life. They have been a huge part of who I am today. I am so in love with this place and it's like a second home. I've always loved horses as a kid too. Love to be around them. They give me inspiration to do so much uh, in my life. I've been training people for over 25 years now, working in therapeutic horseback riding industry. Ooh, nice and slow. There we go, good boy. Part of my job was to train the new volunteers coming in. All kinds of people come out and we love having visitors. <laughs> I'm an equine podiatrist. So what I do with her is what's called the four-point trim. It helps relieve that stress to support the foot. The areas it needs it most, you want the weight for her to be here and here. The point to the foot is called the pillars here in the heel. You want her weight to be centered in those two areas. But the horses that have come through here, we're at like 167, something like that. And we do keep track of all the horses we've rescued. And we offer help if those owners need it. Emotionally, it's up and down and all over the place. You get joy when you have a starved horse that now is a good weight and it goes to a happy home. But I'm sad to see them leave. Well, horses are very therapeutic. And so whatever you're going through with your life, they're here to just heal you. They're very healing spirits. They come here just to let go and just to be in nature and with the kind animals. Hi, I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.